Women seem to just love throwing their drinks at GOP Congressman Matt Gates from Florida. And Gates takes those assaults seriously, pressing charges each time. The latest case, a woman named Selena Chambers, who allegedly assaulted Gates at a wine festival in northwest Florida on Saturday. She's now charged with two counts of battery. One of them, battery on an elected official, is a felony under Florida law. Gates described what happened on his podcast. Catching up with new friends and old, and folks recognized me, and so we were taking pictures and having polite conversations. And as I was chatting with one gentleman, a lady threw a drink on the both of us, and she was promptly arrested. I want to thank the great folks at the Walton County Sheriff's Office who ensured that this did not escalate and that everyone is kept safe. When leftist winos attack. It's right there on the screen. Now, for what it's worth, Chambers told police she simply tripped and her wine splashed onto Gates, although other witnesses refute that. Gates went on to assure everyone that he's pressing charges so all Floridians will be safe from drink desperados. Quote, I will never allow the safety of Northwest Floridians to be compromised. I'll be pressing charges against this individual in order to uphold the civility our community deserves. Now, if any of this sounds familiar, it's because it is. Back in 2019, a woman threw her slushy at him. It wasn't a direct hit, she sort of missed, but it was enough to get the woman, Amanda Kondratyev, 35-year-old mother of two, who briefly ran against Gates as a Democratic challenger in 2016, got her 15 days in prison. Now look, assaulting a sitting member of Congress should be taken seriously, with a drink or anything else. If it was intentional, charges should be brought, even if the community at large may not be in any grave danger from these Gates-hating drink tossers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.